Good. I am Stephen Dutoy, and today I would like to talk to you about a little something that I've been working on. A film called Surfet. Surfet is a film about unease. So now imagine this. Starry-eyed Charlotte and determined Jane move into a new house only to discover that there's a cannibalistic serial killer who's on the run for the police hiding in their attic. And Charlotte, alone in the home, now has to face this killer head on. Now this is a horror thriller type film, and I chose this genre specifically for its versatility. Horror can be fit into most situations if you really try hard enough. Hell, the other way around as well. I could turn this into an action movie if I wanted to. But the horror genre does boast conventions that pride itself on iteration and manipulation. So you see, there are many conventions inside of the horror genre. I believe honing in on one of them and mastering that is the key to what makes some of the greatest horror films great. The main convention that I want to focus on in this film is the underlying feeling of unease. You see, the psychological horror subgenre is masterful at building up a threat throughout the entire film, then presenting the viewer with a realization that changes everything, and then showing us the climactic payoff that the film has been leading up to this whole time. See the Paranormal Activity series for a great example of this suspension buildup. Uh, that is what I want Surface to have, that is what I want Surface to capture, that underlying feeling of unease. Um, okay, well I should then probably just give you the plot of Surface so you can get where I'm coming from. The plot of this movie is inspired by a story that my grandfather told me when I was very young about a person living inside the walls of another person's house and then later realizing that there was in fact someone in the house this whole time. For some reason, that feeling stuck with me, that realization of thinking that you're safe and then it all just comes crashing down in one moment. That is what I want to capture in Surface. So, to give you a quick rundown of the plot, a young couple, Charlotte and Jane, move into a new house. Everything is fine for a few months, they live happily. Until Charlotte realizes that some stuff are not the way they should be. Chairs move spaces from where she placed them the night before, half drunk milk cartons are replaced by full new ones in the morning. She rationalizes and thinks that this is just Jane having a midnight snack and not thinking of it much more until Jane goes away on a business trip and realizes that these things keep happening. Charlotte is of course freaked out and calls Jane. Jane assures her she is just overthinking, but uh, wants her to buy security cameras anyway, just in case something really is happening. Charlotte does so, and the next morning, when she notices everything is out of place again, she checks the cameras. She sees a huge lumbering figure going through the kitchen, taking some food, some drink, not a lot, just a little just to survive. The terrifying thing is that there is no way the creature could enter from that angle. There is no door on that side of the kitchen. The only explanation is, is that it's coming out of the attic. The attic, which is sitting right above her right now. For the sake of time, I'm not going to talk about the plot anymore. Shut up. I would like to talk about the characters. The characters of this film are written to subvert and reinforce convention. Charlotte is your typical flowery, positive girl and Jane is your determined, hard-working woman. The killer actually is a person. He is a cannibalistic serial killer on the run from police, that's why he's hiding in the home, and he is left purposely vague. I want the story to focus on the female experience of these two characters living in a house with one of the most terrifying things a person can think of, a man trying to kill you. He doesn't say much, he doesn't do much, he's simply there to be a threatening entity for these women to deal with. Uh, lastly, I would like to talk about some of the key visual elements that make up Serpent. For example, the main setting, the house. You see, I chose a house to really hone in on that familial experience, you know, that, that feeling of true familiarity with the place that you belong in, and that just absolutely being invaded by some creature that you don't understand.
I want to do something interesting with the style as well. I don't want it to fit in one genre, per se. Uh, this is a horror movie, but I want the first part to be filmed as a romantic comedy. The second, where Charlotte is faced with this creature, uh, pure psychological horror. And finally, the third part, where Jane faces off against this thing, will be a slasher, climactic battle scene. Yeah. All in all, I want to experiment with this film. I want to see if I can merge all three of these genres and create a genuinely terrifying piece of fiction. And I hope you'd give me the chance to make it. Thank you for listening.